What's up you guys it's the boy and today we will see how to create this awesome holographic foil text effect in photoshop so we have already created some videos on the similar topic now if you want to check them out then the link for those videos will be in the description below also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any more time of yours let's get started So let's first start by creating a new document. So for that go to file and then select the option as new. And then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows. Width as around 3840 pixels, height as around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as around 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now the next thing we need to do is fill this document with that of a nice black texture. So for that again go to file and then select the option as place embedded. and then you can select any black texture image of your choice download link for the black texture i'm choosing is in the description below and then select the option as place now the next thing we need to do is make this texture fit into this document so for that we need to scale this image up so let me just do that so once you have made your texture fit into this document after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it now let me just make this image fit into this document So now as you can see now we have filled the background with that of a nice black paper texture. Now the next thing we need to do is start with our holographic foil texture. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient. And then you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you a new pop up in order to select the gradient. So over here we will be creating a custom gradient. So for that select the gradient as black and white. and then you need to double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 97 db ed and then click on okay after that we need to add one more color stop so for that go at the bottom and as you can see as you go at the bottom one hand tool will appear over there so you need to click on it in order to add a color stop and then set the location of that color stop to around 33% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows e b c 1 e 5 and then you can click on okay after that we need to add one more color stop so let me just add it and then we need to set the location of that color stop to around 66% and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 8 4 c 0 e 9 and then you can click on okay after that double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 3 7 4 1 9a and then you can click on okay after that you can click on okay and then you need to set the style as linear angle as 90 degree scale as 100% and then make sure you uncheck this reverse checkbox and then you can click on okay so once you have filled the document with that of the gradient now the next thing we need to do is convert this gradient fill layer into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non destructively so for that right click on the gradient fill layer and then select the option as convert to smart object so as you can see once you convert your gradient fill layer into a smart object the icon of your layer will look something like this now the next thing we need to do is mix the colors of the gradient in some random manner so for that go to filter and then select the option as liquify now in the pop up you need to select the forward warp tool and then you need to make sure that you check this pin as this check box After that using the brush tool you need to mix the colors of the gradient as follows you can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard now let me just mix the colors So once you are satisfied with the mixture of the colors after that you can click on okay Now the next thing we need to do is give this texture a shiny kind of effect. So for that again go to filter and then select the option as filter gallery. Now in the pop up you need to expand the distort folder and then select the option as glass and then over there you need to set the value of the distortion as around 15, smoothness as around 3, set the texture as frosted and then you can set the scaling to around 200%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this glass effect. 
So this was the before and now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our foil texture is completely ready. Now let me just rename this layer as foil texture in order to avoid any confusion. So once you are done creating your own holographic foil texture, now the next thing we need to do is type in our text. So for that select horizontal type tool and then you need to click on the drop down over here and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I am choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop, the link for that is in the description as well. And then you can set any appropriate size for your text. I am setting it to 462 point. And then you can click on the foreground color. And then set any random color at the moment, which will be the color of our text. Anyways it won't matter since we are going to remove it later on. After that you can click on OK. And then using the horizontal type tool, you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. So once you are done typing the text, after that you need to click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of the document. So for that go at the bottom and then press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. And then you need to select move tool and then click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of the document. Now the next thing we need to do is make the text layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to convert this text layer into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. So once you have converted your text into a smart object, the icon of your text layer will look something like this. Now the next thing we need to do is place this text layer below our holographic foil texture. So let me just do that. So once you have placed your text layer below the foil texture layer, your document should look something like this. Now the next thing which we need to do is only keep this foil texture layer where our text was and hide it from the rest of the areas. So for that you need to right click on the foil texture layer and then select the option as create clipping mask. So as you can see as you click on that create clipping mask, the foil texture layer is only visible on the areas where our text was and it has been hidden from the rest of the areas. Now the next thing we need to do is make the text layer active by clicking on it. So once you have made the text layer active, after that you need to click on add layer style icon and then select the option as bevel and emboss. Now in the pop up you need to set the style as outer bevel, technique as smooth, depth as 200%, Direction as down, size as around 24 pixels, soften as 0 pixel, make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as around 90 degree, altitude to around 30 degree, click on the drop down of the gloss contour and then you need to select the counter as core shallow. So let me just do that. Make sure you uncheck this anti alias option, set the blend mode of the highlight mode as green, click on the color icon and then set the color as white. Set the opacity of the highlight mode to around 50%. Blend mode of the shadow mode as screen as well. Color as black. And then set the opacity of the shadow mode to around 50% as well. Now let me just show you the before and after of what we just did. So this was the before. And now this is the after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our text is looking like a holographic foil text. But there is one problem with this thing. It is that the edges of the pressings are looking way too sharp and in reality it won't be this sharp. So we need to add some roughness to it. So for that again go to filter and then distort and then select the option as ripple and then in the pop up you need to set the amount to around 10% and then set the size as large. After that you can click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of what we just did. So for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image. So you need to notice the edges over here. So this was the before, plain and straight and this is the after. So as you can see we have added some roughness onto this image. After that let me just make this image fit into the document. So now as you can see now our holographic foil text is ready. But let's add some more holographic foil near the edges of this image as well. So for that you need to make the foil texture layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to create a duplicate of this layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. So once you have created the duplicate of the foil texture layer, your document should look something like this. Now the next thing which we need to do is get the selection of the whole document. 
So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus A. So once you have the selection of the whole document, after that go to select and then modify and then select the option as contract. Now in the pop-up you need to set the contract by to 20 pixels and then make sure you click this checkbox which is apply effect at canvas bounds. After that you can click on ok. So as you can see now our selection has been contracted by 20 pixels from all the sides. Now after that we need to invert this selection. So for that press Ctrl or command on Mac plus shift plus I in order to invert this selection. So once you have inverted your selection, after that you need to click on add layer mask icon which will only keep the area which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the image. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now the foil texture image is only visible on the areas where our selection was and from the rest of the areas it has been hidden. Now the next thing we need to do is give the same kind of embossing onto this border as well. So for that you need to again click on add layer style option. And then select the option as bevel and emboss. And then in the pop-up you need to set the same settings which you had set earlier. After that you can click on ok. After that we need to apply the same kind of ripple effect as well. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now image is looking so much better. So yeah that's it guys. That's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this holographic foil text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps us in deciding what kinds of topic you want to watch more. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.